How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today I'm going to quickly show you how to estimate the height of a tree by simply using only a stick. No tape measures, no laser range finders, no equipment of any sort. By simply using just a stick you can get pretty darn close to estimating that tree height. So I'm gonna estimate the height of one behind me showing you the method. Then I will validate that with a tape measure to show you how close I actually got. And then at the end, I'll give you the why this method works. So you might be able to apply it to other things like estimating the height of your gutters off the ground, your roof line, or anything else outdoors. So the only thing you need is a stick and I would make it a little bit longer than the length of your arm. That's gonna be the distance from your eye to where you'll hold it in your hand. And if it's a little bit longer, then you can adjust the height slightly, which will match up to make sure that your arm and the stick are exactly the same length, which helps you get an accurate measurement. So taking that stick and backing away from the tree that I wanna measure, I'll make sure the stick is the same length of my arm and hold my arm parallel to the ground and the stick perpendicular to my arm then backing away and moving towards the tree trunk or away to line up the end of the stick to the top of the tree. Once I get that lined up, I can stop, mark the distance away from the trunk, and then I'm gonna use my standard stride length just to walk off the distance to the tree trunk. If you do not know your stride length, it's easy to get. You can just mark off a standard distance here at 60 feet and then consistently and comfortably walk or stride that out. And here I will get 19 steps, which gives me about three feet per step or stride. So now I have the information I need to make my estimate. You saw I took seven steps between where I marked on the ground to the base of the tree trunk. So with my stride length being three feet, I'll multiply that out and get 21 feet. The only thing you don't wanna forget is that is actually measuring the height from that arm or your eye level. So for me, I'd wanna add five and a half feet. So my estimate is 26 and a half feet is the height of this tree. So let's validate that and see how close I got. Really, this just gives me an excuse to climb trees, which is my favorite pastime. So I'll get up in the tree and I'm gonna measure just with my normal tape measure vertically until I get to the top of the canopy. And in this instance, it's gonna be right at about nine feet. Then from that same point, I'll go ahead and measure down to the ground and then just add these two together. So our first measurement was nine feet and now we're looking at about 18. So just right under 27 feet half a foot over that distance is about a 2% error. So that's as good as you can really expect. And then the last part is why, why does this work? And that goes back to your geometry lessons, which you thought you would never use in school. Well, they actually do come in handy. And that is the understanding of triangles. So this is a very specific triangle called an isosceles right triangle. We have two sides of the triangle, which are the same length. And remember, the stick was perpendicular to our arm, which was horizontal to the ground. So we created a small isosceles right triangle. Now, how we use this is from our eye looking past the top of the stick to the top of the tree, we can align ourselves where the distance we are away from the tree perfectly aligns from our eye to the top of the stick to the top of the tree. So now we have a much larger isosceles right triangle where we know the side that we are, the distance from the tree trunk to our body. That distance is the same distance from the level of our arm being held out to the top of the tree. So A is equal to A. So in this case, we know that A is 21 feet tall. So to get the height of that tree, once we've lined everything up, all we have to do is add on the distance our arm is from the ground surface. And in my case, I said it was five and a half feet. And you'll just know in your case, you can do a quick measurement to get that. So to get the overall height of the tree, all you take is A plus B, or our height is equal to 21 plus our 5.5 or 26.5 feet. 
Now these type of skills can be super handy to help you quickly plan out projects around your house. Another good skill to have is just with a simple string two stakes and a bubble level, how do you actually tell the slope of your yard, which can help with planning landscaping and drainage projects. So check out this video right here. I'll walk you through the complete process so you can add this skill to your tool belt as well. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on that next one. Take care.